let me start by saying that I think the two most important public health nutrition problems in the world today are not having enough food and on the other hand, having so much food that you gain weight and uh, become obese and are at risk for all of the health conditions for which obesity is a risk factor. And it's one of the great irony of food politics today that food insecurity, not having enough food, and obesity, having too much food, exists together, um, in, often in the same populations, in the same countries. Um, and that somehow we haven't managed to figure out a way to equalize food distribution so it gets to everybody who needs it in the correct proportions. Eating less, and eating better for that matter, is very, very bad for business. And this was beautifully expressed by a marketing director of Coca-Cola a few years ago, who gave an interview to Advertising Age in which she talked about how obesity was the Achilles heel of the food industry. Uh, obesity used to be something that they could just ignore, they could blame it on personal responsibility, and now it's just an enormous issue that dilutes their marketing and that they have to fight every day. I find it absolutely fascinating that I can go into McDonald's with about $5 and I can buy five hamburgers or one salad. Um, what's that about? That's about federal policy that supports the prices of some foods rather than others and makes it possible for McDonald's to sell hamburgers very cheaply, but makes it more expensive to sell fruits and vegetables. For you to vote with your fork um, and take personal action to create a healthier food system, you want to choose and to buy food, not products, smaller portions. You want to support local and sustainable food production, maybe grow your own food, cook at home, and teach kids to cook. I actually think that teaching kids to cook is the most radical thing you can do. The libertarian argument, which I understand very, very well, keep government out of personal choices, would make a lot more sense if the government weren't already involved in personal choices. The government is involved in the food system that we have right now. There's a reason why some foods are cheaper than others. There's a reason why some foods are more available than others. There's a reason why portions are bigger than others. And that all has to do with government policy.